how to create a Google My Business account. This is Google's free local account for small business owners that shows up on Google Maps for people to find bike store near me or whatever your business is and does. Here is the Google My Business local listing, uh, Google Maps, formerly Google Places account. And today we're gonna talk about how to create this free account, how to set it up, and why that's important. So, last week we talked about what is Google My Business. This week we're gonna talk about how to create a Google My Business account. So you can set it up in minutes completely for free, and that can attract more business absolutely for free for people searching for your products or services locally. My name's Mac Frederick, founder and CEO of Momentum Digital. I provide weekly content talking about Google and a lot of digital marketing hacks. Please hit the link to subscribe before we get started. This will take three minutes and I'll show you how to set up your first Google My Business account and you know how to go through that process, why you should go through it. We are outside on our roof deck. I'm casually drinking a margarita. Happy Cinco de Mayo, just filming some content. But let's get into the details. All right, so. Here's step-by-step -step directions. You need to use an existing Google email or create a Gmail for free. If you already have a business account with Google, great, use that or create that free Gmail account. Then go to Google My Business, which is business.google.com and you're gonna sign in. I already use our agency account and then what you're gonna, uh, going to want to do is you're gonna wanna add a location or create a location and we're gonna add a single location. I'm just gonna use something fictitious we're gonna get more into um, uh, marketing for events. So we're gonna say Momentum Event Marketing. Create a business with this name. If Google already has like somehow scanned and indexed your property online based on the information you have, great, use that. If not, you need to create a new one. So we're gonna add the name, hit next. Do you want to add a location customers can visit like a store or office? Yes, perfect. Uh, if no, maybe something that's more like, you know, not a physical location, more of just an office, you don't need to do that. Uh, we're gonna use 1430 Walnut Street, uh, we'll add a line, Suite 222, just for the sake of time. City, Philadelphia, you're gonna put your address in here if you have an address. You have to have an address because you need to verify this location. They actually send you something in the mail. Um, next, we're going to go to, do you serve customers outside the location? Yes, I also serve them outside our location. Maybe we come to you for the events. Um, so if your business travels, if you're a service business, add the areas you want to focus on. So we'll say Philadelphia, uh, let's say, you know, Cherry Hill, let's say um, Atlantic City, you know, there's plenty of areas that we can uh, target here. And let's say Wilmington. You can add whatever areas you service as well. Business category, let's say event planner. Uh, you can change and add more later. Let's try event marketing. And next you're gonna want to add your phone number. So we're going to add a phone number. Uh, we can come back and add that for now. I'm just gonna put this number. For a website, make sure to put your website right here, MomentumEventMarketing.com. And you can also say you don't need a website or get a free website. This is a new feature they added. Next, we're going to finish and verify. So you can add more information once you finish and verify. Uh, and then you can do all these different things. You can add new users, you can add more information, but most importantly, you need to verify your information. So. They are going to send you something in the mail and you, our office is in WeWork and it's gonna take up to five days. Usually it takes like three-ish days and they're gonna send you a postcard in the mail with a code on it. That code you're gonna to have to use and there's more details um, and you can you know learn more online. So we're gonna send that by mail and then verify it. That's so they know and can legitimize your business and your physical presence. Postcard is coming. Here's a little new gift that I've never seen before continue once inside your local listing with Google it goes through this process it's a really easy process you want to get this as close to 100% as possible that means adding logos hours descriptions um, getting the verification posting to the account getting a custom email adding messaging getting reviews uh, there's also an insights tab there's the info tab which is the main place to start I would say 
Um, sorry. Uh, this is where you add more information. So you can add more services. Uh, you saw earlier that we were event planner. Let's put, add another category, marketing agency, digital marketing and digital. So I'm like eating the microphone. Uh, event ticket seller. You know, you can add a bunch here, add pictures, uh, get reviews, verify the business, add your hours, add all this good stuff. And then once you verify with that postcard, you are all set. Just make sure to continually manage and update this. It's incredibly important. Uh, if you're able to successfully do this, you're going to get business that's coming to you for people searching from their phone or their computer for the events or services. It's based not really on keywords as much as synonymous keywords to the actual categories. Um, so make sure you do everything you can to optimize the account because you'll get more business for free. Thanks so much for watching. Have a drink. Enjoy your day. And make sure to hit that subscribe button. My name is Mac Frederick. This is Momentum Mondays and part of the Google Business Series. I appreciate your time. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Share this with friends. If you know a business owner in need, please don't hesitate to make that introduction. Enjoy your day and talk to you soon.